Hey friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And before we start, I just want to say advance Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. And I want to thank you all for, you know, still watching my channel. I'm almost one year on YouTube. So if you guys are new here, hello, I am Oshin and I make videos on personal finance, some tech that can help you, lifestyle hacks, and whatnot. So yun nga guys, mago one year na ako sa YouTube. And oops. And it's gonna be my first year anniversary on exactly January 1 of 2022. And so excited ako. I never thought that I would reach one year on YouTube. Ah, war flashbacks, I'd say. Grabe, it's been almost a year of hardship and lots of hard work making films and writing scripts. Ah, grabe. Parang it's all coming back to me now. So yes, based on the title, I just would like to share to you guys this journey that I made for this year. So yes, that's right, I was able to save up half a million pesos. I'm not here to brag it or what, but I really want to share to you the process on how I was able to do it. Because guys, if I did it, you can do it. Back then, I didn't really think I would have such a big net worth. And I never really thought of having even a six-digit amount of money or assets or even savings. And so, yeah, I'm here to share to you kung paano ko ba siya ginawa. But before that, I just really want to maybe share with you guys kung ano ba yung mga things that I want to be thankful for. Because friends, if I'm being honest, to be honest with you guys, 2021 is the worst year of my life. Hindi lang mukhang ganon, pero... But looking back, I still want to be thankful for some of the things na worth celebrating. In fact, these are just small wins and hindi naman siya ganun kalaki compared dun sa mga tragedies na naranasan ko this year. Mukha lang wala guys, pero you know, I'm also human at the end of the day and I got hurt in so many ways this year. But here I am again, uh, still struggling, at least buhay pa rin. So the first blessing siguro that I got this year is that I was monetized already so my youtube channel got monetized friends hindi ko talaga in expect na mama monetize ako in you know in just eight months and i never thought that i would be able to reach 1000 subscribers in a span of six months i know youtube is one of the hardest platforms to reach like a thousand subscribers and not only that bago matapos yung taon i'd be able to reach 2,000 or rather I was able to reach 2,000 subscribers and right now as of this moment I think that's a 2.2 and counting to 2.3 subscribers I know it's not that much and it's not a lot compared to other youtubers na grabe as in five digits ang kanilang mga subscribers and all but it's fine I really just want to um, share with you guys this journey and yeah, I'm just happy that you guys are entertained and at least you get value from the videos that I am making every single week. Though recently, I know I haven't been able to make videos because I'm being busy. Ako. Another thing also, guys, is that I, I was so happy that I got invited to some speaking engagements in relation to personal finance. I know I only have like small following. I only have like a very small community here on my YouTube channel. But there are at least like two organizations who invited me to speak to their companies. So the first one is the Red Letter. So shout out to the Red Letters, KJP, for inviting me to talk about emergency funds. If you want me to talk about emergency funds on my next videos, please just comment down below and let me know. Also, aside from the Red Letters, I would also like to thank Rare Job Philippines for inviting me also to talk during their personal finance or their financial literacy week. And I was very, very happy that I got to talk about Personal Finance 101. I know, guys, it's very basic for some people, but you know what a lot of people or even a lot of Filipinos are still struggling on where to start and how to start and I was able to share it to Rare Job Philippines for speaking everything about personal finance how do you start paano ka mag-invest ano ba yung una mong dapat gawin how do you set up your emergency funds and stuff like that shout out kay Viel to my friend for inviting me tsaka kay Miss Elise for accommodating me for answering all of my questions and queries so if you guys are watching maraming maraming salamat Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and as Aside from my speaking engagements, of course, shout out then to my first ever brand sponsor and brand partner, Quick Insure. So if you guys want to buy your short-term insurance, I'm telling you guys, Quick Insure 
is the best marketplace that you can find short-term insurances for you and your family. So shout out to Paula and Mai for accommodating me and you know coordinating with me for for this endeavor. Hindi hindi ko makalimutan guys that you guys are my first ever brand sponsorship and I hope we could grow both together and I'm very much happy to always advertise your products, your services because you are helping Filipino people to become insured. And not only that guys, alam niyo ba recently nanalo ako ng raffle sa BPI. It's not much, I only won 5,000 pesos worth of Lazada credits. So yeah, ginamit ko yung pambili during the 11-11 sale. So I bought the TP-Link mesh router. I've posted it in one of my previous videos. So sobrang happy na nakabili ako finally ng mesh router. And right now, my internet speed here in our house sobrang bilis na niya. Because of that, and yeah, and again, thank you to BPI. I mean, it's not sponsored, but you know, it's... It's still a win. <laughs> Alright guys, with all of those wins, ngayon naman yung share ko sa inyo, paano ba ako nakaipon ng 500,000 pesos? So the first question that you might ask is, gaano katagal ako nag-ipon ng half a million pesos? So, let me just get back to where I started or to when I started, no? So last year in 2020, what I did is that nag-ipon ako ng emergency funds ko muna. So yung buong year na yon, I dedicated to saving up all of my emergency funds. Tapos yung emergency funds ko, it's worth um, three times of my monthly salary. And I was able to save up last year. So after noon, nag-focus na ako sa investments. So after noon, ano ba yung mga investment schemes na pinag-investan ko? You can actually find it in this video. But to reiterate it again, um, so number one, nag-invest ako sa stock market. Then number two, nag-invest ako sa pag-ibig MP2. And then number three, nag-invest ako sa cryptocurrency. What happened actually was that out of all of my investments, yung pinakamaliit na percentage ko actually at first, yung initial portfolio ko lang was in my cryptocurrency. I invested using Binance and then Crypto.com. So yung mga cryptocurrencies that I had are Bitcoin, Ethereum, tapos napaka konting Cardano at Ripple. Tapos meron lang ako konting stable coins. Sobrang sobrang konti. But ang pinakamalaking driver ng investments ko was actually my CRO or yung Crypto.com uh, native coin ko. Last year, nag-stake lang ako ng $100 before para lang makakuha ako ng debit card, yung Ruby. Kasi gusto ko lang ng free Spotify. And during that time, hindi ko kasi afford yung Indigo at saka yung Jade para maka-avail ako ng free Netflix. Nagulat ako, so since $100 lang in stake ko. And then... Pagka-check ko a few weeks ago, I was so shockinated na yung $100 ko, yung value niya, naging $3,000 as in, as in talaga parang... But the thing after that naman kasi, like after a few days, bumaba din agad siya. In fact, it's already at like $2,000 na lang. But still, it's a lot compared to $100, guys. Um, grabe talaga yung power ng compounding interest. That's what I was telling you. But again, guys, it's not financial advice. While my crypto.com investments or my CRO investments are the biggest drivers, I wouldn't say na hindi ko nineneglect yung ibang investments ko. Malaki rin ang kinita ko sa stock market. Medyo wala pa akong kinikita sa pag-ibig MP2 because I just started this year. Overall, I was able to save up more than half a million pesos with my emergency funds plus my investments. So, nung nagsara ako ng aking libro a few weeks ago, siguro ba sa mga nasa 500 20,000 na yung net worth ko. If you're going to start investing, you should have started yesterday. So, kung hindi ka pa nag invest start investing now. And again, guys, if you're going to invest, I really wouldn't recommend the scammy ones. Remember, guys, there's no such thing as quick earn, okay? So, kapag may nag-alok sa inyo ng, okay, mag-invest ka ng 500 pesos bukas or next week yung 500 pesos mo magiging times 20 na siya. No, okay? Most likely, it's a scam. And, ni pala most likely, it's surely it's a scam because that's not how money works. Dapat alam nyo, bago kayo mag-invest or bago nyo ilagay yung pera nyo sa isang bagay, pag-aralan ninyo ng mabuti kung ano yung pinapasok ninyo. Lahat ng mga pinag-investan ko, pinag-aralan ko ng mabuti, inalam ko so that if I lose or kapag nalugi man ako, wala ko ibang sisisiyan kundi yung sarili ko. Yung philosophy ko kasi guys is that 
even if someone would say na always do your research and stuff like that, the higher the risk, the higher the returns, you can actually lessen the risk of you na maluge if you are informed and you know kung saan mo pinapasok yung pera mo. So then guys, you might ask what are my plans for next year. So next year, I'm targeting for my net worth to be 800,000 pesos. Pero kakayanin, I hope I can reach my net worth my first 1 million pesos na net worth. I hope I'd be able to reach it kasi as, as soon as possible. Gusto ko talaga makabili na ng first property ko that I would call my home. Target ko din na makareach ng 10,000 subscribers next year. And yeah, and if I do that, and if I'd, if I'd be able to reach that, I have a surprise for you guys kapag nakaabot ako ng 10,000 subscribers. So, stay tuned. Hindi ko muna i-announce yun. But, yeah. I mean, 10,000 is still 10,000 subscribers. So, to celebrate Christmas, New Year, and all of the small wins that I had this year, now I will be doing a giveaway. Of course, before I do my giveaway and tell the mechanics, this is basically my way of showing thank you and appreciating lang all of the small wins that I had for this year. And, of course, I want to celebrate it with you guys. So, mamimigay ako ng dalawang 1,000 pesos worth of GCash credits to two of my subscribers. So, of course, all you need to do para makasale is, of course, to be a subscriber and like this video and then comment down below what are the things that you are thankful for and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then also follow me on Instagram at oshkoshli and sometimes I also put IG stories there. I also, you know, post some stuff, some random stuff. Just follow these mechanics and then you'll be eligible. I will be announcing the winners on my video on January 1, a celebration also on my one year anniversary on YouTube. Again, thank you very much guys. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And I hope to see you everyone again on my next video. Bye and peace out.